Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, what we're doing right now is we're currently going into land at a really shocking, shocking speed. Uh, let, let's just pull up a bit. There we go. Excellent. Right. So now we we shouldn't crash anymore. That's good. Right. So let's uh, do some free fall. Thank you, gravity. Just need to decrease our altitude so that we can, uh, you know, land properly, do all that kind of stuff. <sighs> right. So as you can see, uh, the base itself has a red kind of outlining. You know, if, if you're watching in 1080, if you're not, then you're just seeing a smudge on the screen. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've currently been doing some, uh, you know, colouring so that the, the thing doesn't look completely grey, instead it will look red, because all must be red. Yeah. Did I say my favourite colour is red? Then yellow, then kind of orange. Anyway. Uh, right, so what we want to do is we want to align ourselves to the pad, and then land. And then uh, today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be... Uh, you know, doing the final floor, the top floor of the uh, of the tower, which means that once that's done, we should have a beacon, and I don't need that stupid nav thing anymore. Uh, and we possibly, possibly, might add a radio antenna and a laser antenna so that we can communicate with the fleet directly instead of having to walk up and down there. So we should be just above the target, and now we can descend. Probably want to align with hor uh, align with horizon. Yeah, good, right. So we've landed. Uh, we'll, we'll turn off that. We'll turn off these and park. And now I can take off my helmet. Excellent. Uh, so uh, I, I I just went to you know refill my hydrogen bottles and get a few more components. But yes, this is our current design. Uh, I believe I can do this. Yeah, so you can see our lovely design over here. Let me just flip around a bit. Pretty good. Still don't have the corner pieces, but that's because I'm kind of lazy in, time, in terms of finding mods for, the, for this thing. Uh, but it's not important right now, but it will be later when I start doing more of these similar kind of structures, but instead of, you know, it's just a tower, it will be an actual complex. Um, yeah. So, what do we want? Uh, so first of all, we need to get up here. Yes, that, 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 that would be a good idea. Right, let's get up there. Do, 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 do. Right. So what we need is, uh, we don't need stairs, we don't need that, 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 or that. Uh, what we do need, however, is a beacon. Uh, we also need an antenna. There we go. Uh, and then we need a radio antenna. Uh, a laser antenna, rather. Well, technically, a laser could use radio waves, direct radio waves, but it wouldn't be that effective. Um, it, it would more like use microwaves or, I don't know, infrared. Though infrared is also kind of bad. Might use gamma. Yeah, gamma rays and a laser antenna. Good idea, Jake. No. Just know. Yeah, it's probably using microwave and that's using radio. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's good. We'll place these on, you know, the top and have it kind of stylized and what have you and have roof access. Um, yeah, we'll do that in a second. Uh, next thing that we need is we need Windows. Uh, Windows 95 to be specific. Hardy, hardy, ha. Uh, where is it? Uh, can I have a 2x2 two two, or is that not possible? You, are you going to say that I can't have a 2x2? Two two? No, I'll have, I'll, uh, I'll have a 2x3 then. Do this. Yeah. Good. Right, so now that we've got all of that, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to outline where the, you know, the everything is going. So, let's do a pack. Uh, noting that this corner... Oh, I need steel plate. Yeah, that would be a good idea. That would be a very good idea if I had steel plate. 
steel of the plateage. There we go. Right. Uh, so we want one here, one here, and one here, and the same all the way around. Okay. We don't need the jetpack for that. Okay, right. Yeah, so that's the way that that's going to work. Uh, then uh, we want to increase these by two more, which is sadly going to require us using a jetpack. Yep, uh, and then that should be good. And then we'll do like a, a roof section, but we'll do that later on in the episode. So. Next thing that we need is we need girders, but before we do that I want to weld these things up. And uh, you know how I can time lapse these things. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to time lapse it definitely, but some of it I'm not going to for a very, very good reason. And I press T at some point, so therefore that's gone and reset itself. It's an annoying thing. I need to rebind my interact key and get used to it, probably to F like it was supposed to. So I just need to weld these up and then we can go time lapse this thing. Just give me a second. Because everybody everybody loves a time lapse. Don't you viewers? You love a time lapse, don't you? If not, then I'm going to be very, very angry. Anyway. Right. Good. Right, let's uh let's do this very, very quickly. And there we go. We have lovely, lovely pillars everywhere. The pillars at dawn. Oh, I thought that was going to be dramatic, but no. Uh, okay, so now that we've got those, now that we've got those, we can get rid of you. And this time, we're going to be throwing girders everywhere. Uh, now, these windows that we're using, uh, these ones, uh, I just also need to make sure that they're the right way, so I also need bulletproof glass on me. So I only need 25 girders for now. I'll probably take, I don't know, 25 times 250 times 4, 200. So I only need 200 of them. Right. Let's take that then, and take all the bulletproof glass in the world, wherever that is, there. 400. Not going to be enough, but it will be enough for me to test this. So uh, what I want is I want that. Why, why have you flipped? There we go. Is that the right way? No, it's not. Because uh, I want the clear side on the other side, so therefore we're going to use the inverse one. You know, inverse. Except you've also rotated because I pressed T somewhere. Uh, right. So I should be able to do that. And then you should be clear. Clear on this side. Not so clear on that side. Excellent. Right, so let's place the rest of these. Um, yep. Yeah, let's uh, le let's go clockwise for once instead of anti-clockwise. That would actually be better for my mental health and everything. Right. So it's about 130 per one. I can't carry that much, so uh, time lapse is not going to happen. Because if I could carry everything, then that would be useful. But as you can see, not going to be. Just let me throw girders and everything, and then we can then we can uh, party like it's 1999. Right. And then all of the bulletproof glass that we can find. Technically, yeah, we should be able to walk on these. Excellent, right. So that bit's done. 
you're done. I have enough for one more. Right. Right, good, that should be all of them, right? Yep, and yes, good, right, so that's all of the windows that we need. Uh, and now, to roof it off, well, to cap it off, really. Uh, right, so let's throw you back in here, and let's get you. Let's get back up. Okay, now here comes the fun bit, which is also going to be pretty hard to, well, time-lapse to begin with. So what we need is we need to cap this entire thing off. Hmm. Uh, so, what we could do... Well, there, there are several designs that we could do, okay? Yeah, let, 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 let's actually just show you rather than think about it. So we could do this, yeah? Uh, let me just jetpack a bit so that I can get this done. So we could do something like that, yeah? How'd that look? It would look weird, but it would do the job. I guess. Sure, let's do it. Well, because the alternative would be using like a half, but that would e that would look even worse. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cap the top off with all of these lovely, lovely. Um, armor blocks, which I keep fudging up because I'm a moron. Uh, there we go. And again. And again. Right, so you're not going to see all of this, but you are going to see a time-lapsed version of it. Uh, so I'll be back in a second once I have uh, done all of this. All right, uh, so that's the roof done. Let's uh, drop below and see how that looks. Not bad. Well, not bad from this angle. Uh, I'll paint it I in a second. But yeah, so now that I've got that, uh, now it's the time to, well, build these. And because it's going to be a pain to go down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up to get resources, what we're going to do instead is something that may be a bit dangerous for my health but who gives a damn uh, because you're not the ones <laughs> you're not the ones at risk I am so let's do this let's do this and that up uh, yeah yeah I, I kind of need this thanks ah we may be a bit too heavy to lift off okay fine Give me a second whilst I unload the inventory. Oh yeah, I closed the door. Why did I close the door? No, 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 there. Thank you, God. Anyway. Thank you. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it's probably because this thing is like 600 kilograms, uh, 600,000 kilograms. Uh, what, what, what's the... No, it's gonna be reactor components. Yeah, reactor components, they need to go and unless it's these guys. No, it won't be those guys, these guys. So let's get these. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? So in order to decrease the amount of time I have to go running around, I am going to do more running around than I had to. Very, very funny. Very funny universe. You are such the practical joker. Uh, I'm probably just going to decrease it below 500,000, uh, if possible, so we don't have to, you know, continuously run around. Uh, right. This may take a while, so uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, there we go. All of the reactor components have been transferred. That should have given us enough, uh, you know... Well, it should have increased our thrust-to-mass ratio 
uh, for our lifting engines and therefore we should be able to launch well we should be able to get off the ground I probably shouldn't have done that probably being a word that I really really should have used <sighs> right let's go off the ground first and then let's assess the damage Uh, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, right. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't engage inertia dampeners. It's just what I should have done. Oh, that's going to be painful. That is going to be painful. Oh. Oh yeah, that 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 that's going to be a pain to do. Oh god, you know you you know why I I do this? It's because I'm bored sometimes. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, re repairs on this thing are going to have to happen later. It's still you know flight worthy. It can still fly. It's just that it's not going to hold in an atmosphere anymore. Also, we lost a chair. Those of you might go boo hoo. It's a chair. So what? And that's the correct answer, because no one should give a damn. Are we moving? Are you telling me throwing that was enough to get this thing going down? So first of all, what we'll do, uh, yeah, that's going to be a pain to rebuild. Um, I think I have something to deal with that, though. Uh, it has plenty of fuel to do this, by the way, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to repair this later, probably. Which is going to be a shame because I, I really didn't want to have to repair this thing, but yeah, that's going that's going to happen. I was wondering how long it would be until I did something completely stupid. And now my 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 I've been answered. Yeah, right. There's such a quick way to do this and I don't have any steel, so let's go get steel. Uh right, hover over to here, get steel. Throw that back. You're not falling, are you? Good. Because technically you should have lost some mass. Oh, you also lost some engines. Oh, those are going to be expensive. Those are going to be so expensive to replace. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to go up to uh, to the fleet in order to repair that properly. Uh, which I'll probably do at the end of this episode. But first, let's repair this damn thing. Luckily, we did have some shield generators in there, so uh, it should be fine. Well, uh, it didn't take as much damage as it could have because it had shield generators. So this landing gear is still alive because of that. But then it just collided completely with the ground. Um, yeah, that's not going to be able to land anytime soon. I'm going to do some repairs on that later. Anyway, right, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were building things. Let's get back in and fly, shall we? Because technically, the higher we are, the easier it should be for us to maintain our... Oh yes, yeah, yeah, of course, we need to actually go upwards, upwards. 
Luckily, we didn't lose any of our main engines, because if we did, that would be even worse. Right, so let's uh, mosey on to the side. You know how I said this might be dangerous? Yeah, that that that's why it might have been dangerous. Right, so just mosey on. Horizon it. Good. So technically, you drifting? Okay, it was probably my, you know, my weight drifting it down, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, but sure, that that will work for now. So, what we want to do hmm, is we need a beacon, and we're going to build the, uh, well, first of all, antenna. Antenna is the important bit. Uh, so, we're going to want an antenna here. Uh, so, we're going to need 60 small steel, 40 construction. Uh, so we want 40 construction, 60 small steel, which is in the bottom. Uh, so we're going to have to go down there to get that. Uh, we are then going to need 40 large steel and 40 radio components. I don't think I brought enough radio components. Uh, let's check. Yeah. Uh, oh. Right on. So if I interact, yeah. Let Let's be quick about this because I'm not sure that that will actually stay there for as long as I need it to be. So I need uh, throw this back in. Need forty. Uh, no, not that. I need this, and then I need. Uh, the computers and motors get uh, well computers and things so next I need 80 40 uh, 40 construction uh, 40 large steel 40 radio That's got that. Uh, we can do the radio antenna later. So we've got that. Uh, we just need to get more components from downstairs. Let's get this thing back to somewhere safe. In fact, I'm tempted to head to the fleet now to repair this thing instead of later. Right, so just open this thing temporarily. Actually, no, don't. Uh, and then we're just going to drop a bit. Magnificence of physics, ladies and gentlemen. It works. For some reason. Just noting that I need to re enable everything once I actually want to get started, uh, but that should keep that thing from dying anytime soon. Okay, right, so what do we need? We needed somewhere in the range of 120. No. But yeah, those are small steel. Good, right. We'll get 200, and then we need about 20 computers. And then we should be able to get our beacon and our antenna operational.
And there we go, we have the beacon and antenna operational. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and that will probably do for now. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to... I'm broadcasting, so that's good. Uh, you don't have any fuel because I've forgotten to actually get some because I'm a fool. So, in order to actually finish this build, uh, we're going to need one final episode to finish the tower. In which we're going to be decorating the control room and getting the LCD screens operational and getting it powered and yeah, you'll, you'll see this repaired. But until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.